Hello, this is Tero from RC Thoughts. Few words about the RFID programmer. I posted yesterday, looks like I made a rookie mistake. I had the OLED display's resolution halved. It, it, I was using 32 lines, 128 times 32, it's actually 12864 display. So more room on the display layout and, and all the screens had to be redone. So let's show the results. Uh, using it as before, no changes there. After powering from regular USB, there's some logo and information what it's about. It's, it's of course a RFID programmer. We put a tag in there, we get the display with, with all the data. This is a battery ID. Uh, 2000 something. Let's change that to a empty tag so we can go through the programming. So this is an empty tag, all the values are zero. We press a long button on the action button. We go to first screen, it's battery ID number. On the left corner you have the multiplicator of one. That means for every press I press the value button it gets added with one. If we do a short press on the action button, we get the multiplicator 10 and we're adding 10 on every press and 100 and so on. A long press on the action button takes us to next screen, which is cell count. We want to make a six cells battery like that. And then we have the capacity. Let's put something this is a multi-battery, multi-copter, so let's make it a 10,000, something like that. Uh, then we have the cycles, a brand new battery. Let's give it one test cycle, OK. And then we have, of course, the C value, uh, something like 40 high-end battery up there. And we're ready to ride it. On the next action, it actually goes to riding. And it's done. And now when we show the tag once again to programmer, we can see the data. It's battery ID 224, six cells, 10,000 milliamps capacity, one cycle and 40 C. So there we have it. Real easy. RFID programmer. Thanks guys.